What's up, y'all? It's your boy JP. Hope to make your car audio install life just a little bit easier. Today, we have a Q&A from our video, How to Wire Up Subs in Your Box, Detail for Beginners, and hopefully we can shed some light on your question. So Chad wants to know, how do I wire a dual voice coil 2 ohm sub and keep it 2 ohms? Now, since you have a dual voice coil sub, both of these voice coils have to be wired up in order for this thing to work properly. If you just wire one voice coil and don't touch the other ones, you will end up damaging your equipment. Now, when you wire your sub in series, that means you're going to take the negative from one voice coil and get a jumper wire and hook it up to the positive of the other voice coil. And what that is going to do is going to add both of these resistances together. So this 2 ohm plus this 2 ohm we have just made this dual 2 ohm sub a 4 ohm sub. So with this sub wired in series, what you want to do is take the speaker wire that's going to go to your amp and you want to run the positive to the positive over here and run the negative to the negative over there, which will allow that amplifier to see four ohms at the amp. Now, the other way that we can wire this sub up is going to be parallel, which means that we're gonna take the positive on this voice coil and hook it up to the positive on this voice coil. We will take the negative of this voice coil and then wrap it around and hook it up to the negative on that voice coil. And when we do that, we are going to divide the resistance. So two divided by two is going to be one ohm. So when you have one dual voice coil two ohm sub, the answer is you can get one ohms from the amp or you can get four ohms from the amp. If you want to get a two ohm load coming from the amplifier, then you need to get a single voice coil two ohm sub or you need to get a dual four ohm voice coil sub. If we take that dual four, wire it in series, that will make it eight ohms. But if we take that dual four and wire it in parallel, we're gonna divide the resistance and you will get two ohms coming from the amplifier. Well, I wanna say that different. This, the amp is gonna see two ohms coming from the sub, so they will provide power at two ohms going to the application, if that makes more sense. Now, the only other way that you could probably get away with this is that you can put one amp on each coil. I do know people that do this. They usually run stuff in competition. So you will have one amplifier that will provide two ohms worth of power. So let's just say your amp puts out a thousand watts at two ohms. They'll put one amp on the left coil and then they will get another amp on the right coil. But then that means you're gonna have to buy two amplifiers. You gotta have double the wire, fuses, all that type of stuff. So it just really depends on how far you wanna take it. If it was me and you wanna make sure that your ohm load at the amplifier Fire is two ohms, get a dual four ohm voice coil sub, or get a single two ohm voice coil sub because the dual two, you only got the one or the four ohm load at the amp. If you guys find any value in the video, man, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. I'd like to take this time to thank everybody who actually chooses to support the channel. Whether you guys buy one of the fan subscriptions from jpsaudio.com or the Patreon, you decide to buy your parts from jpsaudio.com or hit those links down there in the description. All that stuff goes a long way with me because you don't have to do it, but you've seen enough value to go that little extra mile, and I greatly appreciate it. Till next time, this is your boy JP signing out, telling y'all to keep going and keep growing and have a blessed day. Peace.